this is some data that we got from doing the lab. And again, you want to have 4.00 being one of those points. So I've got normal forces for various masses and the uh, corresponding kinetic frictions that I measured from the spring. You want to plot those points, and I got a slope of 0 0.38, and that actually doesn't have any units since it's newtons divided by newtons, so the units cancel. Now I want to do a little bit of interpretation here and get to the equation. So, um, you know, you can use Wolfram Alpha to get the best fit, but we don't necessarily have to do that. So, um, if we were to write an equation for the line, Y would correspond to the letter for friction, which is F. X would correspond to the normal force. B, let's be clear, if we don't have any mass, we shouldn't have any normal force. So B really ought to be, ought to equal zero. Um, but there may be some error. And finally, M. This is sort of a ratio we're trying to figure out. What it basically tells us is that for every one newton of normal force, we get 0 0.38 newtons of friction. Now we actually have a name for this letter. And it is actually called, the name for M in the real equation that we're going to use is, it has a name. It is called the coefficient of kinetic friction. And I'll tell you the letter for that in a second. So if we go from Y equals MX plus B to the friction equation that we actually want to do, Y is the friction n is the normal force. This should be zero. Now this letter m, which is the slope, we're going to write it using this strange u-shaped letter. That's called mu. That's a Greek letter. That's how you say that. Mu. Sounds like a cat. Um, so we now have an equation that relates friction to the normal force. And what we basically do is we take this coefficient of friction that we just calculated and we times it by the normal force to get the friction. That means we have two equations so far. We have weight is mg, mass times the strength of gravity. And we have friction is this coefficient mu times the normal force. So that basically wraps up the lab that we are doing. And these are the two equations you need to have memorized. Again, please memorize that this is the coefficient of friction. This is the force of friction, and this is the normal force. These two things end up being very easy to mix up on the exam.